Hello and welcome to another video with myself, Charlene Smith. You know what time it is. I am taking you in the gym with me today and we are doing a full body kettlebell workout. Let's go. first thing that we're going to do is start off with some dynamic stretching. Now I say this in all of these workouts that it is important to prepare our mind and our body for the work that we have coming ahead. Now with dynamic stretching it helps to increase your range of motion, it helps to decrease your risk of injury and it just helps to improve your performance in your physical activity. So please guys, do prepare your body by starting off with some dynamic stretching before your workouts. For these dynamic stretches, I am using a medium resistance band, which has a resistance of 13 to 23 kg. The first exercise that we are going to start with is the kettlebell swing. Now this is one of my favorite exercises. It is a full body exercise. So it is working your upper body as well as your lower body. Now we're moving on to the elevated kettlebell goblet squat. Now this is a great exercise for working those quad and glute muscles as well as your hamstrings and your calves. And by holding on to the kettlebell, you are also using your grip strength as well as working those upper body muscles. As you can see, I am squatting for a nice, controlled, slow, steady pace. So the tempo that I am using is 404. So I am squatting down for a count of four and coming up from the squat for a count of four. And I must say, you can really feel the tension in your quads at this tempo. Now it is time to pay particular attention to our upper body with the kettlebell upright row. Now this exercise is great for working the shoulder and upper back muscles. We are building that upper body strength with the press up. Now, as you can see, I am doing a full press here, but if this is too difficult for you, you can drop down to your knees and do the press up that way. Now we're going to be working our core and abdominal muscles with the kettlebell pull through. Now with this exercise, it is essential to keep the core nice and tight so there isn't too much rotation of the hips. Now we are going to come down from our plank position and into a seated position for our kettlebell Russian twists. Now Russian twists are great for working our oblique muscles, our abdominal muscles, as well as our erector spina and our hip flexors. And that is our workout complete but we must not end the session without stretching. And I must, must stress this to you that it is absolutely fundamental to stretch at the end of your workout to reduce your risk of injury and just to relax those tense muscles that have been working hard. Well done. There you 
have it today's full body kettlebell workout i hope you enjoyed working out with me let me know how you got on with it in the comments below and make sure you subscribe for even more workouts bye for now